Good day, guys. My name is William. In today's video, we're going to do a local beauty salon SEO audit. That's right, a local beauty salon SEO audit. So, hey, guys, my name is William. If you have any questions regarding local SEO, make sure to comment below. If you would like for me to audit your website, Comment below, say, hey, Bill or William, can you audit my website? And I'll contact you, and I will audit your website for you. If you would like my local SEO audit spreadsheet or roadmap, comment below and say, hey, Will, can you give me your SEO SOP? And I'll do that as well. Let's go ahead and dive right in in regards to this site. It is a local beauty salon named Gaga Salon in Austin, okay? So we're going to dive right in. Overall, I like the fact that you've got your sticky header up here, meaning... Whenever I scroll, that book now menu follows me. I like the fact that it's bright yellow and it follows me. Okay. Um, when it comes to your social icons, great. You have them up there and they click to open. And they open in new windows. A lot of people neglect that. And when they click on it, it takes them from the website just like that one did. Okay. So out of all of them, you did really good except for... Yelp. So when I click on the Yelp social icon, it takes me away from your website into Yelp. That's a no-no. Don't want to do that. Okay. So fix that one. You don't have too many pages. You only literally have like five or six pages. Um, text or call book. You have the gallery, if you will. A lot of women want to see before and afters. Great. You have your email list pop up. That's great. Um, you have your GMB embed. You have your reviews embedded. Excellent. Um, you also want to embed the actual reviews as text, then hyperlink them so they'll open up. Let me give you an example of that. Also on your page, you want to have a review callout. Review callout meaning like this, if I click on it, it calls out and goes to do the Google review. Also, I want to embed on here, besides having your GMB reviews embedded, I also want your reviews embedded as text. If I was to click on any one of these names, it would open up and goes directly to that GMB profile of the actual reviewer. You want to do that as well on your website. All right, overall, you don't have too much content, right? When it comes to salons and hair salons, beauty salons, you're going to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. So you need to be very competitive and you need to have a lot of content. You need to have your social media on point, posting daily on social media, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. As long as you're open, you're posting. You want before and after images, everything. Okay. Um, if we were to take and we're going to audit this website and look at, if you will, your competition, we want to see why they're ranking above you, etc. So we're going to dive right in into that. I use all in one SEO Power Suite. You, you have 558 issues, um, mainly going to be info issues. We take care of all these in about a day. Your website is not secure, so you have those issues, and you can see that right here, and I'll show you that on the actual website. You have some 301 redirects, some relcanical issues, okay? You have 20 broken links. That's a big one, right? Fix that. Now, as far as the actual page being secure, if you go here, you'll see right here where it tells you the site's not secure, okay? You want to make sure your site is secure and it goes to the whole thing and Google is telling people your website is not secure. So that's one of the first things I'd fix with an SSL and make sure you force security depending on, you know, which um, hosting provider you're using. That being said, your average ranking position is you're just out of the 10 spot. You're ranking average 12.6 in Austin, Texas, right? So here's what your GeoGrid looks like. We want this baby to be completely green. We want this dark green color all over here, okay? We don't just want it right here in this little tiny area right where your GMB is at. We want it all over here. This is only in a two and a half mile radius. We want to start with two and a half miles and go to five, then go to 10, right? That being said, if we look at this, we can say, okay, who's beating me and why, right? Red Stella Hair Salon, Wendy Hair Salon, and Scissors Sound Hair Salon. You will notice a few things, right? And we want, to, <clears throat> we want to take note of all of this, right? So when we're looking 
at our competition. We're looking to try to find out what are they doing better than me, right? What are they doing better than me? And if I was to look at your GMB, for example, says Gaga Salon, Austin Hair Salon, great. You have the keywords, you have the city inside of your, if you will, of your um, GMB. A lot of people are kind of scared to do that. I don't know why, but a lot of people, it's like they don't want to do it because if they do it, they feel like they're violating, um, which they are. If they do it wrong, they're violating Google's terms of services, right? Um, what we want to do is we want to then go to, if you will, our top competition and go, okay, what are they doing different than me? So I go over to their website and I want to see what's their website look like compared to me, right? What's their website look like? I'm curious. You know, number one, they're secure. Number two, it's much more professional, much more laid out, a lot prettier, a lot more images. You know, you want to see different things that they're doing. They're giving driving directions even from down here, right? They're giving their team information, right? They're giving a lot more information. They have a lot more pages, I can almost guarantee you. They have their services, product, galleries. If I wanted to look at and see, maybe, hopefully they have their sitemap and see how many pages they have. They don't have it, sitemap.xml. That's one way I normally look at it. But let me see if they have it down here in the bottom. And no, I don't see it. But normally what I like to do is I go, okay, what pages do they have? How many pages do they have? You know, compare this to yours. You have one, two, three, four, five pages, right? They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then if you go to media, they have a lot more in here. They got YouTube videos or videos in general. They have their team pages. They have their, their shop links, their specialists. Every one of them have their own pages. Much more professional of a website much more, if you will, many more images, etc. Okay, that's for Red Stella. Now, if we look at your other one, which is Windy Hair Salon, let's take a look at that real quick, see if I can open that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They don't have a website on here, so let's go to the next one. I just really want to look at what are people doing and try to duplicate what they're doing to be in the top, right? <clears throat> does that mean they have more content? What does it mean? You know, I want to look at every one of these top people, like Slate. Let's see if we can get them. Let's see. Red is the number one. Slate's another one. And he goes through how many services they have. I really don't like this one. I don't like the, you know, the whole layout. I don't like the fact the way it looks and everything. If I was going to duplicate anybody, I would go after Red Stella. Red Stella, what type of content? How many pages do they have? You know, you want to create the same type of content, same feel, images. They got all their services listed out. You know, each one of their services have their own pages, right? So they have a lot more content. And that's what it's really going to take to rank a hair salon or even a beauty salon in your area, especially in Austin, okay? If you're going to want to change this geogrid from red to green, it's going to be, let's see what your average population is. Average population is 950. That would probably take me about three months to get you ranked, right? 950, you're about $797 a month. So three months of SEO, I would be doing everything we have listed out in here, which is a lot. If you go to this page, you'll see everything we're doing. Everything from press releases, fixing your technical issues, blogs, press releases, citations, GMB posts, answering reviews. It's a lot. But ultimately, our goal is to take this geogrid of yours and take it from red to green and make you happy. That way you have clients calling you. And besides clients calling you, you're getting appointments and new clients as well. Have a great day and be blessed. Hopefully this helps.
have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They've been